Howdy everyone and welcome to another installment in our Tapping the Keg series. In this series we will give you a first taste of a game and offer our thoughts and personal opinions of that game. This episode will feature Ultimate Chicken Horse. Enjoy! Oh! Oh god! <laughs> Who put the honey there? That was fucking funny. That was me. <laughs> Ultimate Chicken Horse released March 4th, 2016 on Steam from developer Clever Endeavor Games. It seems like one of those instantly classic party games, to be honest, and I've got a few friends that really love that stuff, so I was more than happy to give it a try with them, especially since I was able to get it, like, 50% off on Steam. And my first impressions, whew, this game is pretty fun. Oh, I'm dead. I don't know what you do. Fucking flower, fuck off! <laughs> Look at him be- look at it. Yeah, I'm gonna jump and he's gonna be an asshole. So let's check out the graphics settings first. This game is a 2D game, so it's not really gonna have any performance issues in general. But it is worth noting that you have all of your standard graphics options and settings. I will say that the user interface is a little bit weird, as it's best played with a controller, but it also uses a mouse cursor even if you use your controller. So if that kind of thing really bothers you, then like, don't touch this. But really, that's not much of an issue in my book. Especially considering that the user interface is well designed, it's easy to get into, so it's really easy to jump in with some friends and just have a few rounds. This game pleases me. Oh no, what? Is there ice on that? Let's talk about the sound. Again, fairly simplistic, but I love the sound in this game. The animal voices are super funny, especially when they fall off the level or are dancing and gloating near the end of the level, taking up everybody's time. Bullshit! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, <Aw>, lame. <laughs> Let's check out the character customization. As stated, you play as animals in this game, and there's a bunch of different animals you can choose from. I only have a couple of them unlocked, but they all play the same, and they're all super funny. They have their own little animations and dances and sounds, so that's a lot of fun. But other than that, there's no real character customization, mostly because it's a really simple game. And for under 20 bucks for a fun party game, what more could you ask for? What do you guys bet that uh, that sand kills you? I don't know. Let's check out the art style. So this is a pretty simplistic game that uses a really fun, kind of kiddie art style. It, it kind of feels like you're playing through a picture book. All of the different animals that you can play are really cute and they make funny sounds and you can dance with them, but that very quickly, especially after a few beers, turns into some pretty seriously fun gameplay. Especially when you're gloating with your friends about making it to the end of the level when they didn't. Speaking of which, let's talk about gameplay. This game is a super simple game, meant to just be a really easy, fun, and engaging, an easy to learn game for really any gamer. And it's definitely best played with a party of four, so I highly recommend only getting this game if you're gonna be able to have people to play with. The game itself is pretty simplistic. You basically just have to get to the end of the level, and you and everybody else designs that level, including all of the traps and all of the platforms that get you to the end of that level. So while you could just place traps around the level that would knock everyone off the map, that's also going to knock you off the map. So it's a little bit of working together and working against each other to make it to the end of the level, and the person that makes it to the end of the level the most wins. It's that simple. It's not very serious. It's a lot of fun, but it does have a couple of issues we should talk about. As stated earlier, the game is best played with four people because if you have less than that, it kind of just gets into this area where nobody can really get to the end of the level because you and the other person make it too hard for either of you to really get through. So unless you have four players, the game isn't really that great, but if you do have four players and you got a couple of drinks for everybody, it's a lot of fun. It's Shit! Somebody put a hockey. Ryan, you're too precise with your movements. It's uh <laughs> terrible. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So let's wrap this up. Ultimate Chicken Horse is a fun party game. Highly recommend it to any gamer that just likes some easygoing games with friends, maybe over some beers, doesn't have to be, but I would recommend it. Overall, I really had some fun with the game, though I will say that I play with some people that are really good at games like this, so 
Winning is kind of tough for me. I'm going to give this game 4 out of 6 beers. It's not the perfect game. It's fairly simplistic and it has some issues when you have less than four players and that's really what I think the game is lacking is support for players in smaller groups. The game is definitely best played with four people but so long as you have that you're gonna have a great time with this game. But of course the overall review is the game fun. I like to end all of my reviews on this. Yes Ultimate Chicken Horse is fun. Definitely recommended. You should pick this up and play with some friends. Thanks for watching everyone. This is Ratted signing out. Hey, it's Ratted here. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe as well. It really helps out the channel. We put out multiple new videos each week and we appreciate all of your support. Thanks for watching everyone and cheers.